let's go to the scrum pillars so uh, we the entire scrum basically stands on three pillars in transparency inspection and adaptation and uh, what these pillars actually doing basically how we implement these uh, scrum pillars in scrum so first is transparency how we implement uh, the transparency pillar is uh, we have these uh, uh, artifacts workflow and work results they are uh, basically artifacts workflow and work results are visible to everyone in the team including the scrum team and stakeholders so what it means is you know the product backlog the sprint backlog uh, the the increment itself all these uh, artifacts and uh, the 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 work results which uh, you know uh, in terms of uh, the increment we are building or sprint goal we are building all this is visible to entire scrum team so they can uh, go and look at what what are the things sitting in our product backlog what are the things sitting in our sprint backlog and how the increment is looking like any of the scrum team members or stakeholders stakeholders means the a sponsor who is giving us money for running building this product or the people who are giving us requirement they can come and look at any of these artifacts they can look at the uh, progress of these how we are progressing so all this is transparent uh, then how inspection is achieved in scrum so for inspection basically we have uh, four formal events uh, uh, which uh, are happening uh, 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 which are basically uh, sprint planning daily scrum sprint review and sprint retrospect in all these four a planning event there is a there is opportunity for entire team uh, entire scrum team to inspect any of the artifacts and the progress we are making towards the goals so goals are basically how we are progressing towards the sprint goal or how we are to progressing towards the product goal so all those uh, artifacts are transparent and basically because they are transparent and because we are having these scrum events these scrum events allow you to inspect these artifacts and progress on it and they give you the opportunity to detect any potential undesirable problems associated with any of these artifacts and then you have the third pillar which is adaptation so whatever problems you have found during your inspection you basically adapt your ways of working or product as per what the team thinks is right like let's say the customer have used the product and they have given us feedback so use that feedback to adapt the core product according to customer feedback the other thing is you use uh like when you are doing these various uh, events you are looking back at your ways of working as well and you find some problems in your ways of working you can adapt your ways of working according to a new way of working which your team think might work and each of these pillar are dependent on each other so basically you need transparency you need transparency to have inspection to allow inspection if the team if people are hiding artifacts uh, for example product backlog sprint backlog or uh, the product goal and sprint goal they are not visible or they are not available for inspection or uh, if they are not transparent then they can't be inspected right and if you don't don't allow inspection you don't know what is not going right what is having problem and if you don't know that then you can't implement adaptation because you are going to implement adaptation only after you inspect that this is not working as per the expectation of customer or this is not the right way of working within the team you can do uh, you know you can adapt after only after inspecting right and for inspection you need transparency so each of these pillar are dependent on each other inspection is dependent on transparency and adaptation is dependent on inspection and all this is basically the foundation of all this is empiricism because what empiricism does is basically uh, it's based on uh, process control uh, basically how it works is 
knowledge is gained from experience and decision are made based on what is known and empiricism how empiricism is practiced by using all these three pillars because uh, uh, you know from how do you know about thing is by being transparent by allowing people to do inspection and uh, once you do inspection uh, transparency and inspection then you adapt according to what you have learned so this is what i wanted to discuss in uh, and the scrum basically have these four formal sorry five four, uh, formal event to implement these inspection and adaptation pillars this is what i wanted to discuss in this